Girl Smokes Tarot. Um, I'm Alexis. For the uh, purposes of the channel, I go by Indigo. Um, this reading is for September 2019 for Taurus. Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North and South Nodes. Um, it's for anyone who has heavy Taurus in their chart. It could also be cross-watching for someone who is under this sign. Um, I'm going to start off just listing the angel numbers because sometimes I forget to do them at the end of the video. So your angel numbers are 222, 88, 88, and another 8. <laughs> so you have five eights. Um, 777, 666, 999, 44, and did I already say 33, 33, and 10, 10, 10, you have seven majors and you have about two to three face cards, all right? So not too many people involved in the situation, but enough. Um, Taurus, I have already pre-shuffled everything, everything's cleansed. I wanted to pull the cards off camera just because it takes me forever. Um, I did pull some overall energy cards and overall messages cards for this particular reading. I'm just going to start off by saying that this is, this is kind of heavy. Um, if This could definitely point to a relationship, start there. But your overall energy for this is the envy card, All right? So there could have definitely been some jealousy or some envy in this situation it actually looks pretty heavy like heavy envious energy or like there was just a lot of conflict or there has been um we have the third chakra card as well as the first chakra all right so this situation could have somehow impacted your security or your sense of stability either within yourself or within the situation um this could definitely have to do with your foundation your home the things that bring you a sense of stability and security and um, this situation could have felt disempowering to you and you could be needing to step into your power in order to deal with the situation or the situation has caused you to, you know, focus more on security, stability and making, um, making more decisions for yourself that are in alignment with you, okay? But it looks like you've been dealing with some very heavy shit. The angel numbers that you got, like the 888, um, the 1010 and the 999. Those are numbers that signify that you are completing a major cycle in your life. Um, the 888, I see that as it can be, actually both the 999 as well as all of the 8s, I feel like that's heavy karmic energy, okay? So you could have been dealing with like a karmic situation here, something that was meant to teach you a lesson, something that was supposed to make you transform or develop in some way. Whatever it is you have gained, a lot from the situation all right but there was definitely some kind of disempowerment going on in this situation and I feel like it does have to do with a relationship or um, home or just something that brought you that sense of security or stability something that maybe you were very comfortable with at one point but yeah that's the overall energy I'm gonna put those to the side um, the overall advice and I'm gonna close with the advice as well but for whatever reason I just want to start off with the advice because I feel like this reading is so heavy I want to somehow start it off on a good note so for the overall advice we have culmination of vision um, the keep your dreams alive and the celebrate differences right so what I get from these three cards is just that you're needing to um, maybe in order to deal with this situation or after you have dealt with this situation you should just be focusing on your goals and your dreams and putting things into action. Um, focusing on the things that you want to manifest and create for yourself and for your life. Uh, remaining grounded and practical as far as how to achieve your goals and your dreams. And realize the polarity within yourself and within the situation and try to just see what you've gained from the various differences that you may have with the situation or with the person involved in this situation, okay? But try to see the... Try to see the silver lining as much as you can, all right? Whatever, difference, whatever differences that you and a person or you in regards to the situation may have, try to see the good things in those. So, for example, if you are someone who is very, you know, kind and nurturing and you're dealing with people who are the exact opposite <laughs> or, or kind of the opposite, you want to kind of see the silver lining in the sense of being happy that you're not like them or 
um, basically just learning how you don't want to be. All right, but those differences are there for a reason. You can learn from other people just in the sense of if someone is a horrible person, you now know who you don't want to be. So that's a way of celebrating those differences, all right? Because there's technically, there's light and dark within everything. Everyone has a dark side. Everyone has a light side. It just depends on, you know, what side you feed. And neither one of them are wrong. It's just a matter of what works for you, all right? But if you are dealing with someone who is like a polar opposite or you're, if you're dealing with a situation that is not in alignment with the energy that you prefer to take on, try to just see the silver lining and if there's someone who is negative around you just take that as a teacher you know someone teaching you how you do and don't want to conduct yourself and how you do and don't want to move in the world all right so try to just um as far as navigating out of the situation or dealing with it just try to remain grounded and practical and focus on the things that you can achieve and the things that you can control okay so with that being said, I'm going to get into the tarot cards. Like I said, everything has already been clarified. Um, anyways, so. Oh All right, so the first card that we got out is the reverse star card. All right, so this is the energy of losing hope and faith in regards to a particular situation. Um, this is the feeling of not getting your wishes fulfilled. This is... Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a sad energy because it's a situation where you lose your faith or you lose your hope either in a situation or in a person um, and this could also be like a lack of healing energy so maybe there was a lack of healing involved in the situation a lack of wish fulfillment in a situation and like I said you or someone else has just lost all faith and hope in whatever is going on here okay that was the first card that came um, that card is, actually I'll get into the clarifications later. Um, the second card that came out was the Ten of Wands. Okay, so whatever the situation was for you, it could have been very heavy, very burdensome. Um, it's, this is a situation where you've, you've given it your all and either it's already ending or it's about to end because this is uh, something burdensome that needs to be dropped. Okay, so there's that third card that came out was the seven of swords all right so no one really likes this card this card actually came out twice okay so there could have definitely been something underhanded sneaky or deceptive going on whether this is your energy or someone that you're dealing with um this is like the kind of like the a thief in a night kind of card you know it's, it's very sneaky but it's all it's self it's self-serving too um this is someone who does dirt behind your back and then they run off, you know, or something like that. Something is going on that maybe at one point you didn't know about and it was intentionally kept from you. Um, if this is an energy that you're taking on, either you're taking on the negative aspects of it or you could just be in an energy of wanting to stay very low key, um, not really wanting people to know what you're doing or how you're moving or what you're thinking. Um, but definitely since it came out twice and because like I said, this is a heavy reading, I feel like this is you know, um, someone being deceptive, sneaky, or manipulative in a situation, and at some point maybe you didn't know about something that was going on, and it looks like it has come to light, or it's about to for you. Alright, the central card in this is the Queen of Swords. Uh, for whatever reason, um, because this card has come out twice, you'll see in the clarifiers, I feel like this may be the energy that you're taking on, Taurus. Um, the Queen of Swords, she had... She's typically the widow or the scorned one or the bitter one. I'm not calling you bitter, not calling you scorned, but she is someone who has gained a lot of wisdom because she's been through a lot of things, okay? She no longer has tolerance or patience for BS or lies. She wants nothing but the truth and respect. And if she doesn't get that, she's ready to use her sword to cut anyone or cut out anything that is not giving her the respect or the honesty that she wants and deserves, okay? <clears throat> and after that, we have the reversed Eight of Swords. So this is freeing yourself from um, bad habits, freeing yourself from people, places, things, situations, mentalities, um, habits that are keeping you restricted, keeping you in a victim mentality, keeping you stuck. Um, 
something here that was restricting you, whether internally or externally imposed. It looks like you or someone else in this energy is freeing yourself from this, okay? So if there was something that you feel was holding you back or keeping you stuck, like I said, whether it was internal or external, person, place, situation, habit, mentality, you're, you're freeing yourself from it. And if this is someone else's energy, they're freeing themselves from their, uh, their stagnancy, okay? But this is a card of self-sabotage and being in and feeling helpless and um, bound to a particular situation, not knowing what to do. So if that's an energy that you have been in or are in, I see that you're going to be freeing yourself from that. And that's why I said I feel like he might be the queen of swords. Whoever's taking on that energy, I feel like that's the one who's freeing themselves. <clears throat> but take it how it resonates. You could be dealing with um, a G Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the two of pentacles here, all right? So this is juggling, trying to find balance. Someone here in the situation could be uh, in two minds about something. Someone in the situation, if this is someone who is being deceptive, this could be someone who is doing a juggling act, going back and forth between two, pay, two people, two places, two things, two mentalities. Um, this could be someone who, like I said, is double-minded, you know, going back and forth in their head about what to do or how to deal with the situation. And more obviously, it's just, like I said, someone going back and forth between two people, two places, two things, and things along those lines, okay? And ending, we have the Nine of Wands, okay? So, um, this is the energy of the Wounded Warrior, right? This is, once again, someone who has been through a lot of shit and has been, um, worn down because of it and because of everything that someone here has been through they're now cautious and are now guarded all right they may or may not be willing to continue on in the direction that has you know caused them so much turmoil um this is also my ptsd card all right so it's it's having been at war in some aspect of your life or in some aspect of the situation and because of that now you're very you could be taken someone here could be taken on an energy of being paranoid or overly cautious or very very guarded not willing to open up not willing to possibly not willing to continue like I said in the direction that they've been going or no longer wanting to work on something or with someone who has basically worn you out and tired you out okay um, at the bottom of the deck we have the uh, reversed three of swords so once again this is I feel like I got this in the Aries reading I feel like I did so the reverse three of swords, it's about healing, healing from disappointments and heartbreaks and hurt, possibly healing from a third party situation because you do have quite a few threes here. I think you have four. So you could be healing from um, a situation where there was some heartbreak or some betrayal or just some disappointment. Um, it could have been because someone here wasn't faithful, whether it was in a um, romantic capacity or whether it was a friendship and, you know, there was some backstabbing going on. I see that someone's healing from whatever this pain or disappointment was. Um, and like I said, there could have definitely been some external energies, whether that was a person, whether that was a situation, whether that was someone's family, whether that was someone's friends. Um, there were some extra energies affecting whatever this dynamic is for you, okay? But whoever is, was in the heartbreak energy, I see that they're healing from that and they're coming out of it. All right, you also got the two of pentacles twice. <laughs> I'll show you that one um, when I did finish going through the clarifiers. So clarifying this reverse star card, we have the... Reverse Judgment and the Reverse Six of Wands, okay? So, on top of losing faith or hope in regards to a situation or feeling like a situation, you know, can't be healed or isn't fulfilling your wishes, um, the Judgment in Reverse, to me, that's, it's either someone or a situation not changing or someone feel like feeling like they made a bad judgment call, okay? Um, it, you could be feeling like this situation was a bad idea was a bad investment you could be feeling like you did not win in the situation or someone here is like I said um, the energy that I am describing it could be your energy it could be someone in your energy feeling this way um, just take it how it resonates okay and if it doesn't resonate then that just means that it's not your story but anyways um, like I said someone here losing faith in the situation it could have felt like um, it was a bad judgment call it wasn't something worthy of their time um, it was a bad decision all right, it could also, this could also signify a lack of change, okay? Um, also, the reverse six of wands, that is about not feeling like you're getting the success or the recognition or the attention that you wanted in a situation, okay? So overall, this is um, 
He's kind of a defeated energy and a little bit regretful as well. All right. Whoever's in this energy, they could have, someone here could have been like very down on their, down on themselves or feeling down about the situation. Because like I said, someone feels like it wasn't a good idea and they, someone here didn't get what they wanted. All right. Next we have with the Ten of Wands, clarifying that we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, the Nine of Pentacles, in this context, he typically talks about someone who's very careful, methodical, but slow moving, but steady. Like at some point, the Nine of Pentacles is going to reach his goal. It's just gonna take him for fucking ever to do it. <laughs> but, um... I feel like in description of this Ten of Wands, like I said, whatever was burdensome, whatever the situation was, whatever person this was, um, it's like something, it's like been a, possibly been a slow buildup to this Ten of Wands, you know? Um, there could have been a lot of time or energy invested in this situation, and slowly but surely, this burden is, it looks like it's going to be dropped, all right? The Two of Cups wanted to come out a lot of times when I was, uh, clarifying all of these cards it came out at least two or three times so this definitely could have been a friendship or a relationship um like i said something here was burdensome and it's like a slow build up to that and after someone drops this burden i think that someone here is going to just decide to do their own thing you know focus on their independence their um, being self-sufficient focusing on themselves enjoying life focusing on money career things of that nature um it looks like someone here is just gonna uh, go solo you know focus on themselves but if something here hasn't ended it looks like it's slowly coming to an end um if that's not the case then someone here could be slowly you know wanting to approach you but i really don't see it in that way all right um if if that's the case and it's someone approaching you they could be feeling very burdened by something um and it looks like if someone is approaching you, they could be single, right? But I don't, I don't read it that way. I read it as a situation is slowly coming to an end, and it's been a slow build up that eventually started to weigh on someone very heavy in this situation to the point where if you haven't already, you're gonna want to drop the situation completely and, like I said, just do your own thing. And clarifying the Seven of Swords, we have the Reverse World card. Okay, so a lack of completion, a lack of closure unfinished business um a cycle a major life cycle that um hasn't fully closed itself out yet all right um so like i said someone here could be feeling like there's some unfinished business and also we have the strength card the five of wands and the eight of cups all right so the strength card that is typically um Someone who is acting out of their, their moral code, someone who is able to control themselves, has self-discipline. Um, <laughs> but in this context, it feels like maybe whoever was deceptive or um, underhanded or maybe just not forthcoming in their thoughts, feelings, actions, whoever this is, they could be feeling like there's some unfinished business and they could be um, trying to get the strength to come forward because the eight of cups in reverse talks about someone wanting to return to a situation or being unable to move on um and with the five of wands here that's a lot of conflict you know arguments pettiness um or just fighting for something or fighting over something all right so um this cycle whatever the cycle was there could have been a lot of conflict a lot of arguing um someone here definitely could have walked away but someone here is either unable to fully walk away or someone is wanting to return um and someone here could be possibly holding themselves back from doing so but yeah with the world card in reverse here something isn't finished and one one or all people involved are feeling this energy of um something needing to be fully closed out before one can move on and i feel like someone could be returning to this situation wanting to fight for it or just coming back to the situation and possibly bringing a lot of conflict but maybe in this moment someone is uh, restraining themselves from doing so all right um but with the two of pentacles showing up like twice and uh with this um with a lot of threes here and with this um five of wands this could have definitely been a situation where there was some competition 
whether you knew about it or not, there was definitely some kind of um, competition going on where maybe you and someone else was competing for one person or maybe there was a lot of people involved and um, everyone was arguing or trying to get their point across, okay? It could go a lot of different ways, but I do feel like this was some kind of relationship, whether it was a friendship or um, romantic, and something here is just, it's not finished, and someone here could be returning, but maybe they're slow moving in how they do it, or they're trying to restrain themselves from doing so, but something here needs to fully close out, and it hasn't yet. Queen of Swords, we have the Reverse Devil card. So, once again, this kind of speaks to the Eight of Swords energy. Um, the Queen of Swords here, she's cutting something out. She's freeing herself from something that kept her bound, kept her stuck. Um, if this was, like, like I said, if this was a relationship or a connection, a friendship, it could have been toxic. You know, it could have been something that was hard to pull away from. So, whatever this dynamic was, um, it wasn't easy to break away from this energy. It's never easy to break away from devil energy because it's typically a bad habit <laughs> or a connection that's so strong that you feel bound to it or you feel controlled by it, all right? Or you feel at the mercy of it. You feel like, you know, you can't get away from it. If you try to walk away, you feel compelled to return. So um, with the Queen of Swords, with this clarifying the Queen of Swords, this is her seeing through all of the bullshit, any kind of toxicity that was there, any kind of um, bad habits, toxicity. She is cutting it out and someone here is freeing themselves from this energy of feeling bound or stuck or controlled by something that they can't get away from. You know, Whether it is a person, a place, a theme, a situation, a bad habit, a mentality. Someone here is freeing themselves from lower vibrational energy. Someone here is freeing themselves from a situation or a connection that kept them stuck. And like I said, that someone here could have felt controlled by or at the mercy of, okay? But, um, and also, you know, you could have been dealing with an earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, if it was a Capricorn, it could have been a Capricorn that wasn't balanced in their energy. You know, that could be what you're freeing yourself from. But like I said, I feel like it more so describes the situation or the dynamic that you were in. Freeing yourself from that aspect of it, all right? Clarifying this reverse eight of swords, we have the six of pentacles, the reverse queen of swords. So the queen of swords came out twice. And then right after that, we got the empress, all right? And this is kind of why I said I feel like the queen of swords is the Taurus energy, okay? So um, whoever is taking on this earth energy, and like I said, I feel like this is you, Taurus. I feel like you are also tapping into your queen of swords energy because remember, the empress, she is the queen of all she's the empress of all queens all right she inhabits all four of the queen's energy so she's the queen of cups the um, queen of wands the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles you know she can tap into any of those energies whenever she wants to okay so even though taurus um this card is ruled by venus taurus and libra so even though this card is in the reverse you still come up as a queen and you still come up as the empress even though um like I said, the reverse. To me, this just indicates that someone here is fed up with the situation, all right? You could be feeling like um, whatever this dynamic or situation is, it's not growing, it's not abundant, it's not something that maybe you want to nurture anymore. It's something that you could have been, you're fed up with. Um, maybe you've been giving a lot of your energy, time, money to this, and you're trying to free yourself from, in any capacity, giving to the situation anymore, all right? Um, let me see if there's anything else I can get from it. Uh, the Empress, she can be a mother figure or a maternal energy. Some people see her as the baby mama card, all right? So if this was a relationship, you know, for an example, only take only take it if it resonates. For example, um, the Empress, like I said, if she's the baby mama card, she could be, this could be like the third party energy that um, threw off the balance of the situation or caused the conflict. You know how, if you, I mean, if you're watching this video, everybody is familiar with baby mama drama, all right? Um, someone who possibly you know uses the kids against whoever you're with or uses the kids against you someone who just creates unnecessary uh, conflict someone who's overbearing anything like that so if you're dealing with that energy and someone like i said is overbearing or they have kids or they abuse their power or they just overall um 
they just don't have good energy you're being you're very fed up with it and you're freeing yourself from that person but like i said if it's not that i feel like this is you taurus both this empress in reverse and this queen of swords being fed up with giving to a situation and so because you're fed up with it and because you're pissed off and because you feel like it's not going anywhere and you don't want to nurture it anymore you're freeing yourself all right so if it's not you that's someone in your energy doing that two of pentacles here we have the reversed queen of cups once again um kind of shut it either being very upset about something or shutting down your emotions in regards to a person or a situation um, we also have the knight of cups and the seven of swords all right so maybe someone here in the situation was hiding their their true intentions or hiding their actions and possibly even hiding their feelings okay so with this two of pentacles um i'm gonna say that maybe whoever was um, taking on this seven of swords energy like I said um, this could be the person who's wanting to return um, and either they either they're trying to like sneak away from a situation that they're in or they could be coming in on some more deceptive shit unfortunately um, and like I said sometimes this is just someone hiding how they feel hiding their their true feelings not being um, forthcoming in their thoughts and their actions words etc um with the knight of cups here this is someone who wants to offer something offer love offer an apology offer a date offer some kind of proposal something to do with love and emotional expression or vulnerability okay with the queen of cups here in the reverse though i don't feel like whoever is inhabiting this energy i don't feel like someone is going to be receptive to it all right because like i said either someone here is really really pissed off or someone here is just shut down their emotions and they've lost whatever love or openness that they have to the situation all right and maybe if this person approaches you you'll be in two minds about it or maybe this person like i said previously they're in two minds about whether or not they want to um offer you something all right and let me see if i can read this a different way um pretty much how I see it so either you or this other person um, who's inhabiting the seven of swords energy someone here is um, somehow some way juggling you know whether they're going back and forth between two people or whether they're just going back and forth in their mind about what to do or how to bring balance to a situation um, whoever is making this offer Oof. they could be fearing that you're not gonna that someone here isn't gonna be receptive to it or someone here is just purely not not open to it and they're very um, either blocked off emotionally or pissed off okay Queen of Cups in reverse she can definitely be someone who has lost her um, her willingness to pour her love into a situation okay but it looks like somebody here is trying to trying to offer something, you know. And either they're trying to be low key in how they do it, or like I said, um, they could be hiding their emotions, or just they could just be flat out deceptive in their intentions. So um, you know how this applies for you. It's not going to resonate the exact same for everybody. So like I, like every tarot reader says, just take it however it resonates. Okay, you know who you're dealing with. If you're dealing with, if you've dealt with someone who was deceptive. And you, you know, you know them pretty well. You can figure out if they're just hiding their feelings or if they're coming at you on some bullshit. All right. Okay, and with this nine of wands, this is clarified by the four of pentacles. So once again, being very guarded, um, possibly being stingy with yourself, stingy with your energy, your time, your resources, your money, um, not being open to a situation, all right? And we have the three of cups as well with the moon card. And the reverse four of wands so someone here like I said wounded guarded cautious um, not really giving of their energy not really wanting to open up um, with the three of cups being here with the uh, the moon card the moon card talks about confusion um, the unknown things being hidden possibly things not appearing as they seem um, this can also tie into the seven of swords energy something being hidden from you 
not seeing something clearly there could be secrets there could be some kind of deception um or this could just be something that as at some point you didn't know or something that you don't know but either way i feel like this is someone being guarded because of a um a third party energy like i said whether it's cheating lying whether it's a friendship romantic or whether it's just family and friends affecting a situation in a way that you don't like whatever it is for you someone here is like pulling their energy back and guarding themselves um maybe you feel like there's some more secrets or dishonesty in this situation and whatever this three of cups and moon card energy is secrets um cheating lying things that you don't know, things that are being hidden from you, things that aren't being seen clearly, whatever this was, it broke up a situation that maybe at one point was state that or maybe either it was stable and secure or maybe you just thought it was stable and secure. All right, but um the four of wands in reverse, it talks about a lack of um, happiness, a lack of stability and security within a home situation or a relationship. Because it's typically a celebration card and a good and a happy relationship card when it is in the upright. So when it's in the reverse, it could be that something dysfunctional is going on, or it could just be signifying that something here was is broken now. All right. So if it was once happy and secure and stable, if you thought it was, now it's not. It's not that anymore. So yeah, someone here. Um, is very pissed off and very guarded and very uh, wounded right? sorry my energy is like I'm really responding to this reading not because I not necessarily because I resonate with it but just because I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm taking on the energy of the people in this situation but this is just it just really looks like someone here was fucked up. All right, excuse my French, but yeah, somebody here could have just been a fucking asshole, you know, someone selfish. I don't really like selfish people, so. Anyways, um, let me see. At the bottom of the deck here, we have the reverse two of pentacles. So no longer being in two minds, no longer juggling, no, no longer going back and forth between um, to people, places, things, situations, habit, no longer um, being in two minds about something, finally making a decision, all right? And possibly whoever was juggling, doing the, the back and forth between two people, places, or things, if that was involved, this is them no longer doing that or them losing control of it, all right? So either someone decided to um, make a decision and drop something or they were forced to because they were, um, they couldn't keep up, all right? But finally making a decision about something okay um most likely um because the two of pentacles here with the queen of cups is more like most likely somebody making a decision about whatever this offer or whatever this person is trying to discuss or trying to hide <laughs> finally making a decision about it and like i said nothing here um speaks about being receptive anymore all of the feminine energies are in the reverse which signifies that they're cutting off their energy or they're pissed off either way it's not receptive all right um take that how it resonates anyways i'm going to pull some cards hopefully we'll get some more positive energies to close out the reading and if this resonates with you um, and you're on the receiving end of the bad stuff i am really sorry that you're going through this or that you have gone through this <clears throat> messages advice insights for taurus sun moon rising venus jupiter north and south nodes for september 2019 in regards to the situation that they're dealing with
so we have the crumbling all right this is akin to the tower card all right so either there was already a tower moment or um, this is something that you're experiencing now but in regards to the situation basically um, if you feel like something is crumbling before your eyes let it okay um, don't hold on to things that don't bring you happiness don't hold on to situations that are just not working all right if like i said if you feel like the situation is crumbling before your eyes or if you feel like it's fucked with your stability and your security um take that as divine guidance that you need to go another way all right if something is being forced and taken away from you um take a closer look to make to see or or to realize that maybe that's what's meant unfortunately i know everybody does not want to hear that and this doesn't apply to everyone okay like i said take what resonates and leave the rest all right i'm not telling anyone what to do i'm just telling you what i see all right and something in the situation has fallen apart and that could be divine intervention and you'll feel and know if that is what it is for you okay so this is what are you clinging on to that is trying to um trying to remove itself from your life all right so if something or situations like an uphill battle and you feel like you can't control it and it's not going your way take that as a sign that maybe you should be doing something different at least at this time all right because the tower only happens when um it only happens when a situation isn't stable it's not built on a solid foundation and so it has to crumble it needs to leave because it's it's not serving anyone for it to stay there all right it's when a situation is built on lies um, misconceptions you know things of that nature things that you aren't seeing clearly things that are um, not true not solid so when something's not solid this energy this tower crumbling energy has to come in and remove it so that you can move more towards what's actually for you something that's more solid something that you can rely on second card is answer the call what is your soul calling you to do all right so this could talk about a variety of things it could be talking about what is your soul calling you to do in regards to the situation this could be what is your soul calling you to do as far as your life purpose your job your career what inspires you go towards that like i said with the the cards that i started off with the culmination of vision keep your dreams alive all right this is just, like I said, focusing on your goals, focusing on your dreams, focusing on the things that you can control, the things that you can create and manifest for yourself, all right? Whatever your soul is wanting to express and do, go towards that, all right? And the last card we got in this deck is take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill, all right? So if you have been overexerting yourself and with the Ten of Wands energy here, it could definitely be that someone was overgiving, overextending, taking on most of the responsibility in a situation where it became burdensome it's time for you to just give yourself a breather um restore your energy get yourself back um feeling like you are grounded give yourself the rest the replenishment that you need um life is a marathon it's not a sprint <laughs> basically that's what it says okay so we have those okay and we have two more decks and then we'll be finished with the reading okay uh back to these just in case um <clears throat> just in case i i don't remember if i said everything uh whatever happened in this situation it looks like it happened because there was some envy involved all right so maybe you or someone else maybe someone wanted what you had or you wanted what they had however it resonates um a lot of this dysfunction happened because there was some jealousy involved okay um with the third chakra, the uh, first chakra, these are the angels you can call on, Archangel Michael, Archangel, I don't know how to say this name, I don't know if it's Chamuel or Shamuel, all right, but you can see it for yourself, all right, um, I feel like whoever is watching this and resonating with it, you need to focus on your, your root chakra, your third chakra, strengthen them, balance them, uh, like I said, focus on the things that bring you security and stability and focus on stepping into your power and making decisions that will lead you to more balance and happiness within your life, okay? You can listen to different music, you can do different meditations for your um, chakras, 
um, you can go on YouTube, there's binaural frequency, there's Hertz frequencies, uh, binaural beats, all of that. It can help you to work through certain energies and work on certain chakras, okay? So we have the Twin Flame card, alright, it says the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship, so like I said, this looks like a relationship, this looks like somebody was, um, something deceptive or unfair happened, like I said, most likely because there was some envy, um, so, uh, if you resonate with the whole Twin Flame thing, having a divine counterpart, then if you feel like this is what this is, then most likely that's what it is for you, um, but just just be aware of the twin flame thing okay so if this was twin flame situation just because someone is your divine counterpart does not mean that they're good for you okay um if someone isn't bringing you good energy i don't care what title they have leave it leave them where leave them where they are all right um in order for any kind of divine counterpart to be of benefit towards you and vice versa you have to be grounded and high vibratory in your own energy. Otherwise, it's just any other toxic connection. All right. So um, divine counterpart or not, if this was a toxic situation for you that um, made you guard it, wounded you, hurt you, took everything that you had, it's time to focus on you regardless of the spiritual nature of this relationship. OK, if this connection is meant to be and this was a twin flame, it'll come back around any maybe when you guys are both in you know good spaces but if it's not working don't force it all right um and if that's not the case then maybe you could be after dealing with the situation you could be um attracting your divine counterpart okay something that's more in alignment with you take what resonates you also got the throat chakra so this is about speaking your truth all right communicating when you need to communicate um not being excessive or underdeveloped but speaking your truth when you need to and standing your ground okay so if there's a situation where you need to speak your truth speak it you know say what's on your mind indigo uh this is about being highly sensitive being a leader um it's a it's, it's having a particular kind of soul energy about yourself where you're here for a spiritual purpose um you're most likely sensitive you most likely have some kind of spiritual gifts you most likely are a leader in some way even if you aren't taking on that leader energy in your life this could be a time where you're, you're needing to step into this um the spiritual energy for yourself you know focusing on um, your creativity um, being sensitive to things and allowing that to be a gift and allowing that to be a source of empowerment for you uh, whatever your purpose is or whatever you do spiritually this is a call to that all right you could also have an indigo child you could be the mother of an indigo child someone who is uh, mature for their age advanced someone who's an old soul someone who's passionate someone who has spiritual gifts someone who is sensitive to what goes on around them you know, someone who has a spiritual, um, a heightened spiritual connection to themselves and the world, okay? So, if this, if this isn't you, then you could have a child who takes on this energy, all right? But this is definitely, um, as far as I'm concerned, it's a call to step into your spiritual power, all right? So, look up indigo um, children and adults, if that's something that resonates with you. At the bottom of the deck, we have shield yourself. So, like I said, with this envy here, there was some going on. There's probably still some lingering around, so... Use whatever spiritual assistance, like Archangel Michael, your own ancestors and spirit guides, to help you to shield yourself um, from whatever negative energy that this was or is. Um, call on some form of spiritual protection to keep you protected from all the bullshit, all right? So we have that. And is that it? I think it is. All right, Taurus, I wish.
much that this reading could have been more on the higher note for you. Like I said, if this resonated, I apologize for everything that you've been through. Even if you don't get an apology from the people or persons who did it, I am very apologetic that you had to go through this. But, um, you know, we, we all go through shit, you know. So try not to let it beat you down. Um, try to gather the lessons that you've learned from it. Pick yourself up and move on, okay? Um, you are in healing energy with the reverse three of swords, all right? Um, with the shield yourself. When you shield yourself, you're also protecting yourself from, you know, further harmful energy. So I hope that if this resonated for you, you were able to get some messages and insights and a guidance for yourself so that you can navigate your way through um, everything that has been troublesome to you up until this point. And I appreciate you for watching, Taurus. All right, and until um, either next month or if I decide to do mid-monthlies, um, take care of yourself, okay? Uh, with much love, thank you for watching, and until next time.